Hey, Dave Ryder here from BreakthroughMindsets.com. I'm a Breakthrough Mindset Specialist, a Neuro Programmer, and a Mindsetter, and I help people in groups to tap into a new state of mind. Today I'm going to talk with you about how to free yourself from shame. Now, shame is one of those super toxic feelings that feel so bad that no one ever wants you to talk about it. In fact, most people just kind of deny it. Most people stuff it way, way deep down inside in hopes that it won't rear its ugly head. <laughs> the problem with shame is that it's damaging to yourself, your future, and your family. Shame is so toxic that you, it can infect your thinking, it can change the course of your life, it can make you shut down your dreams, bury your purpose, and avoid places and situations that can actually improve the quality of your life and help you grow. Shame affects how you feel about yourself physically, mentally, socially, spiritually, sexually, and emotionally. The problem with shame is that if it doesn't get addressed, it doesn't just go away. Instead, it gets buried. But not underneath you, right in front of you. It filters what you see, hear, and say about yourself. You can feel shame about your body, your sexuality, your sex organs, you can feel about you can feel shame about the choices that you make and even experience self-doubt before making decisions. If you've ever had anybody in your life that wanted you to feel ashamed for who you are, they got it totally wrong because what you do and who you are are completely separate things. And that's what was so confusing. It's not that you weren't good enough. It was that they didn't meet their own expectations to feel better about themselves and so they blamed you. After all, bringing down a little child is way easier than feeling better for them on their own. Shame connects with feelings of embarrassment and humiliation, and it started a long, long time ago, where you were led to believe that just being okay and normal and safe and worthwhile and valuable was impossible and unthinkable. So if you remember hearing those words, you should be ashamed of yourself, and that feeling of being ashamed just to exist. That's the proof right there. Shame was a strategy that they used to try to control you so that they could feel better about themselves and avoid their own pain. The functional dysfunction of shame was the norm for most of us, but all of that can change faster and better now than ever before in history. If you have shame and you've got something you're holding on to inside, and there's, there are subconscious programs that conflict with your true self, and there is another way to be. So if you feel inadequate, disgusting, or not good enough, those feelings come from someone else's opinion about themselves. Opinions that are not relevant, they're not correct, and they're not complete. These messages can leave you feeling utterly inadequate, without choice, feeling forced to be what was projected onto you at the expense of your true self. You no longer need to feel a the least bit ashamed for who you are, what you are, what you've done in the past, or what you want to do in the future. Because we know now that shame is a learned behavior that starts early in childhood, in families, and it comes down through generations of toxic beliefs and behaviors and dysfunctional parenting styles, where hurting parents projected intense accusations and throwing blame at family members for their own pain and shame that they held inside that they, were, they learned from their parents, that they didn't know what to do with. The bottom line is that what they said and did had nothing to do with you or who you really are. And the secret to freeing yourself from shame is not in what they did, but in what you do with it now. You can't change what they did, but you can absolutely release the pain, the hurt, the anger, frustration, and change your mind so that it never bothers you again. And you can stop that cycle so you don't do it to yourself anymore or pass that down to your family or children. What an amazing thing. The key is knowing it's what you do with it now. That's the only thing that matters. So open yourself up to a beautiful life without shame so that it no longer limits you in your health, your wealth, your relationships, or your future. You are worth it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click that bell notification so you don't miss our next video. We'll see you next time.